Do not fret if you are bombarded with information on AI. The fear of missing out is not real. Trust us, you are among the millions of those people who are actually bombarded on a daily basis about news and information on AI and its products. And that is why that on this channel and in these videos, we do not talk about any of the current affairs or of AI that a new tool has come out or this or that. Rather, we present you an in-depth analysis of this book. And the reason for the critique of this book is that AI has disrupted global supply chains on an unprecedented level. And as mentioned in the previous video, the age of AI shall be conquered by those who understand the bigger picture of AI's economic impact. So, let's initiate. The story of AI in this book begins in 2017, when AlphaZero defeated Stockfish by performing moves that were unprecedented in the entire history of chess. Meaning that AlphaZero came up with new moves, moves that required ingenuity, moves that do not only depend upon advanced computing power but also on a new way of thinking about the entire strategy of playing chess. So what do you think that for how long did AlphaZero train by playing against itself? Tell us in the comments. But here we tell you this, that the moves performed are still not understood not only by the programmers of AlphaZero but also of chess top players that include Gary Kasparov. Hold on to this point, as this is a crucial point for you to understand what is coming up in the video. The point is that the results of AI are not understood even by its creators or the people that are using it. Moving on on applying the applications of this game and AI in general for the betterment of humanity. Get this, some years ago, researchers at MIT developed a new antibiotic, which killed those strains of bacteria that were resistant to all known antibiotic till day. And that was done by utilizing AI. AI did the work of those researchers in the fraction of time and the cost that would have been otherwise gone into R&D, combining different molecules and testing them and taking educated guesses and so on. Ponder upon it, the sheer scale of the capital that was saved was colossal. Now, again, when we think about it, that the researchers admit that how the AI came up with the combination of those molecules that generated that antibiotic is totally assumed. They only have an idea that how the AI would have come to produce that result. But the main thing is that even though they do not understand it, they use it. It's like a black box, how AI works and its uh, generation of results is totally mysterious. The combination of the fact that the researchers admitted that they would not have been able to develop it without AI and that they do not know how or why the antibiotic works has immense applications. AI truly is limitless. If you do not grasp what is happening, then ponder upon it in this way. The doctors and the pharmaceuticals are utilizing helicin for not only research, but also the treatment of humans, but they do not know how it was developed. So can we say that in the future, humans will do what the AI will tell them to do? Yet more importantly, the humans will do it. 
how about if we answer that question with an exercise what you do is is that you compare those programs of ai that solve a specific problem to the massively popular generative models not only are there international lawsuits and protests over the text and image generating ai tools there is also the more serious and grave problem of blocking information where ai does not allow facts that are concealed by mainstream media or uh, differing opinions where, which can be different interpretations of uh, the same event or a theory who knows there might be an agenda behind uh, forging a new reality for us for example this won't be the first time any technology would be hijacked by the techno feudal lords one more thing around it is that ai is now part and parcel of every aspect of our lives how every good software now being built has ai integrated into it embedded into it part of the source code the main functioning of it so never before have there been more clearer bigger signs of the advent of homo technologicus as explained in the previous video that ai augments human capacities human facilities human intelligence and basically the human functioning overall centuries ago it was rene descartes who said cogito ergo sum but today if ai thinks and hence ai is what do you think the combination of natural and artificial intelligence will bring about we think three results number 1 the outcomes and the results that ai comes up with are beyond the comprehension of humans whether they are their creators the people who utilize it or researchers in general number 2 the method at the forefront of today's ai revolution is a part of machine learning called deep neural networks and number 3 with the current trajectory of the development of ai it will soon permeate each and every aspect of every one of our lives so what can we do about it the good thing that this chapter tells us the authors put a fine point on it that we must all come together to make sure that ai is not only developed further and further but it is done in a responsible manner so that it is utilized in a just way for the fair use of ai and the egalitarian ecosystem that it will build mhb consultancy advocates that it is kept open source and number 2 ai startups include social scientists in their workings only then can we avoid the establishment of monopolies like the ones that exist in silicon valley the tech behemoths that we all know about and uh, we consult startups for their supply chain management and marketing especially on how to utilize ai to grow their audiences and grow their business and optimize their roi feel free to reach out to us at director@mhbconsultancy.com but the point is the young technopreneurs need to join forces to foster an inclusive ecosystem around artificial intelligence and its applications However, humanity created AI and not the other way around. We generate the public opinion that we must not allow, we shall not, we cannot, we ought not to allow knowledge recede from us. For precisely this reason, the conquest of AI has been initiated, but if you take a closer look around, most of the people are aloof to it. Do not be one of them. Read this book. and understand the true implications the economic impact that is going to be on a global scale and utilize it for your own benefit for example how we utilize ai is a very intriguing and interesting fact this video is being made in conjunction with artificial intelligence most of the videos and images that you saw are ai generated it is just too easy producing a marketing content with ai we had to do our digital marketing through artificial intelligence P generate content through stability.ai pictory.ai and uh, market them or maybe manage them through social media management tools like bardeen.ai 
It is very easy. If we are to summarize the first chapter, we would only say one sentence. AI is restructuring our entire reality. Let's look at the bad aspects of it as well. Is it not every day that we see a new AI model coming out and disrupting the entire value chains of that system? Big AI data systems are crafting political discords of entire countries. This is against democracy as well, because if the only options we have to choose from given by AI, what free will do we actually have? The same is the case with military applications. If AI is to decide what action to take in a strategic war game, only that party will survive which has more efficient AI. The American, the Russian, the Chinese, all militaries are developing and using AI to the extent that even autonomous weapons have been developed and tested. Now only the deployment is left. The US Air Force conducted a successful test flight of a U-2 surveillance aircraft controlled solely through an AI program. Is there no one around to think what it will lead to? Getting to the last and worst example, the point. If a commander in chief during wartime or peacetime is advised to sacrifice a particular number of soldiers or citizens for that matter to gain a strategic advantage over an enemy, could, would or should he do it? Would it be right or wrong? Remember that point again? After all, this is precisely what Alpha Zero did. Sacrificed those pieces of chess that human players thought to be indispensable in order to win. Dark, is it not? The crux of it is that since humans do not know how the AI comes to the results that it comes to, should humans follow those conclusions? If they do, who is there to determine or more importantly enforce that whether they are right or wrong? In conclusion, despite of all the developments in artificial intelligence, the current scenario on the international scale is that it is not sentient. Though the chances of that are increasing day by day for the reason that more and more people are developing it, deploying it for their own personal matters, without understanding the true implications, the technological, the business, the sociological implications of it. That is why we invite all the philosophers to join us in researching and correcting the path that we take. Let's prepare the world for that. Thank you.